Come back. We're live. Jesus. All right, everybody. This is uh, the first episode of Cooking with Auntie Perul. And today we're going to be making rice and dal. Rice and dal is one of my personal all-time favorite meals. Um, it is delicious. It uses, as you have just heard me say multiple times, rice and dal, lentils, which are shelf-stable ingredients. So we are going to learn this today because I'm assuming a lot of people bought a lot of shelf-stable foods during this epidemic. Oh, we have a couple hello aunties. Hi. Hi. She can't see who's commenting, but I'll make sure that she sees it later. Hello, darlings. All right, Star, let's start cooking. Well, actually, let's give people a little bit longer because there's like two people on. Okay. So we'll give it a couple oh, sec minutes yeah, so yeah, people yeah. can join. Even my technological so do you have any like sort of intro, like entry thoughts for the audience as we begin this stream? Yes, uh, the pink doll, the pink lentils, or they're called red lentils. They're the easiest to cook, very easy to digest, extremely high in protein and iron. And uh, when you mix it with rice, it becomes a complete protein. I kept a very, very basic, simple recipe. At the tail end, I will tell you, you can even later on add chopped carrots or spinach or whatever, depending. But this is very, very basic. Uh, there's onions and garlic in it and ginger, which helps during the winter weather and it helps with health. And of course, right now it'll help ward off all the evil. <laughs> <laughs> all the evil. We love that. Exactly. So, um, let's on. begin. I think there's enough people. People will filter in. Okay. Yeah. People may not be able to. Order. Thank you guys for being on time. What pros? Okay, what pros? So first thing we are going to do is turn the... Uh, put the pink lentils, the plain lentils, in a bowl or in a pot and add. If you have any water left but that you've soaked in, fine. If not, no big deal. If the lentils have absorbed all the water, it's not the end of the world. Just take some more. So if you had two cups, we will add another two cups of water. Fair? Okay. Fair. All right. Thank you guys for being patient with my rudimentary camera skills as well. And also, I have not done this before, so please bear with me. So turn the stove on high, and uh, stir the pot, add some more water. So if you, have, if you have two cups of lentils, you should have at least two and a half cups of water. Laura, to answer your question, we currently have one pan, one sort of pot-like pan, and a pot. And it looks like this is on high heat, as Auntie Perul said, and that there is sufficient water. To cover the lentils. Yeah, we want to cover them real nice like that. Yeah. Look at that frothy goodness. Yes. Okay. To this, we shall add two teaspoons of, uh, well, about... Yeah, at least two teaspoons of salt. Let me come show off your fancy. This is like Indian standard daba for holding spices. Okay. Get at your local indie mart today. All right. And then a, 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 a teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric, the nice yellow stuff. The yellow one. Okay. Ooh. And then stir it one more time. And this is when we'll add, whoops, I grated it all. But you can add a fresh piece of ginger. I'm assuming I'm pointing this at the ginger. No, that I grated it. All right. We're going to show you what fresh ginger looks like in the meanwhile. Behold. Hey, guys, in case you've never cooked with turmeric before, it can totally stain clothes. So as you've seen, Auntie Perul is wearing an apron. I advise you do the same or just wash your hands even more than the compulsive hand washing we're already doing. Unless you like yellow stains. The other thing is, um, there's, you ginger. can never have enough ginger. <laughs> At least that's how I cook, because ginger is a good toner for your insides. Your, your intestines will thank you. <laughs> intestines. <laughs> Pardon my accent. So I ch I'm chopping. You can cut it in, depending on whether you like ginger or not. So I've cut it in small pieces and I'm throwing it in the doll that is boiling. So now, as soon as it boils a little, we will cover it. 
just give it one stir, one more stir. Let's just leave it on high for now till it boils. There it is, slowly boiling. So Laura, to answer your question from a while back, that's a pretty big pot. I mean, you it's I, I would akin it to kind of the way you would cook pasta. You wanna have enough room so that you have the lentils, you have the water covering it, and that there's room for it to boil without boiling over. And um, Alice, we will be posting this video on YouTube afterwards as well. So I will make sure that you guys have access to that in case there's any interference. I know that Facebook traffic and Zoom traffic is super high. Becky, um, what we've done so far is we've taken the lentils, we've filled the pot with the lentils, yonder pot behind the oil, um, with water. We've put it on high heat. We added salt, we added turmeric, we added some ginger, and now we're waiting for it to boil. Yes, she put the lentils in already. Yeah, I can. More will be going in the pot, fear yeah. not. Yeah. So here, we're gonna, we're gonna get a nice little spoon close up for y'all. Look at all that. Wow. Okay, and here, take another close. Here we go. Yeah, here's the water. The here's where the, what yeah. the liquid looks like. Just enough water to cover the lid. Just enough to cover like a nice lentil pasta situation. Uh, Becky, enough to cover it. So, um, Which Becky is this? Liquid? No, you don't know this Becky, don't worry about it. <laughs> now we're waiting. Um, while we're waiting, is there anything else that we wanna show them? Yes, we need to peel, uh, now we've got two cups about, uh, two onions, medium size onions. Let's go look at the diced. other ingredients. Yeah. Onions, diced, about how many? These are three, but you can, because I've used, I'm going to use some for the rice, so, uh, and uh, at least uh, three tomatoes. Uh, well, no, these are two, two medium Roma tomatoes chopped. Okay. So just to clarify, this is a really good time while we're waiting for the dal to boil. See, it's beginning to simmer already um, for you to chop and dice those vegetables. Ooh, how, we have a question. How much turmeric? Oh, at least one uh, whole teaspoon. Uh, one whole teaspoon at least. Another question. Do you grate the ginger? Uh, sure. You can if you want to. You can also do chunks. Depends on you your preference. You need to grate it for later on, so go ahead and grate it. Yeah, you might as well double grate it. It's great. <laughs> so take two pieces of ginger then, too. Two inch size pieces, this size. That's an inch, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys to learn this. This is um, childhood favorite food and very delicious indeed. And this is the first time I'm doing it, so please be patient. Cause I You're being great. You're a star. The so camera loves you. Work your magic, darling. Some steps are in my head and I hope... I don't talk in shot hand. <laughs> yeah, everybody, please keep posting questions if you have questions. Um, Laura is saying she accidentally did a tablespoon of turmeric, but she likes things really spicy, no so problem. it would be a good amount. No, no problem, problem is the answer. No worries at all. And yes, please keep posting your questions. It helps us a lot because we're winging this. Hey, Tracy, good to see you. We're sort of um, halfway through it. Uh, let me know if you'd like me to catch you up to speed. can repeat the process. You got a comment. She's a star. Just be yourself, auntie. Beloved. Oh, look at all the support. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, Pam Boring, yay. All right, how are we doing over here? Well, this thing is taking a what kind of second. rice are we making, asks Surya from the UK. Oh, it's just jeera rice, the kind you like. Fancy, fancy jeera rice. It's beginning to boil. Hi, Tracy. Yes, we are compulsive about starting compulsively on time. But like I said earlier, I'm going to post a YouTube clip of this for people who missed the beginning. Ooh, Sweden. Well, hello. Who's from 
herbs either? Three onions chopped? That's a question. Yeah. Richard Borgstrom? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sweden. <laughs> hey, Richard. Good to see Look at this international class. Oh, Richard. Everyone is sending love and kisses. He, he, he was uh, gr- Grandma Pat's nephew. Oh, Grandpa fun. Grandma Pat's nephew, yeah. Here, let's get back to... It's, it's kind of frothing on the top. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. We like a good froth. Because I didn't throw the first water. There. Oh my gosh, so much love from Tracy. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love you too, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Angie. Good to see you. In case you missed my previous thing, we will be posting this to YouTube. Um, Angie and Tracy and people who've joined later, let me know if you need a quick recap of our steps up to this point. I'm happy to repeat what we've done so far. Also, if you're done chopping with the onions and tomatoes, it's now okay to peel at least, depending on how much you love garlic and if you're not allergic, about at least four, four or five uh, uh, garlic cloves. cloves. Thank you. Also, if you don't love garlic, we have to have a talk. I'm sorry. We just have to. (laughs) For everybody who's joining late, I'm going to give a quick recap of what we've done so far. We have put the two cups of soaked lentils into a pot, covered it with enough water, kind of like you would do for pasta, and set it on high to boil. We've added salt, we've added a teaspoon of turmeric, and we've added some ginger. Ooh, Murphy is um, sending greetings. It's important that you know this. (laughs) Baby Obent is here. Yes, I agree. People who are allergic to garlic, that is so sad. I had to not have garlic before a surgery for two weeks, and by the end, I was like, why even eat? <laughs> food, what is food without garlic? Um, there was one person who was allergic to tomatoes, I remember in the post. You can omit the tomatoes and we'll substitute lemon. So, there was someone who was allergic. I yes. Remember. Okay, now we will lower the heat. Ooh, let's go see what's cooking. Lower the heat to simmer, so between three and four. Give it one stir. Yeah. See how it is cooking, all right? Give it one more stir so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Mm, Just like pasta. Yeah. But it's lentils. And and then I will cover them, all right? Look at that frothy situation. It's frothing because I used the water that I had soaked the lentils in. If you have removed the water, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. But that's why it's frothing. So I love it. It looks like a giant yellow yolk of goodness. I am goodness. lowering the heat because it will otherwise boil over. So. And that's embarrassing. I've already done that once and I don't want to do it. <laughs> As you can see, there's evidence. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to stir it one more time. And once the heat is low, because I have an electric stove, it takes a while for it to cool down. And so now I will cover it. Partially cover it. Partial. Look at that technique, ladies and gentlemen. Just so that it doesn't boil over. Okay? All right. Now, everyone with me so far? We're just letting those boys simmer on down in that partial lid. Oh, let's. there we go. It just cooks faster when you cover it. That's all. Partially. Eventually, I will cover it completely once the heat is lowered. This is fun, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining our little class. Happy to bring our home cooking into your kitchens. Okay, one more stir, and now I'll cover it. Okay, now, do, uh, if you haven't, this is a good time to wash and clean the rice. Or just wash it with one or two. Rinses, and here is the washed rice. It's one cup of rice. It's basmati or long grain. And you can see there's water covering the rice. Important. Much like the lentils that we did earlier. Ooh, people are requesting that you teach naan next week. Ha ha ha. We do not have a tandoor, but, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll teach you some sort of bread. Yeah. Maybe paratha. Oh. Well, Maybe how not good are you all in kneading dough? <laughs> we need to knead. <laughs> you need to knead. If you're good at kneading, then you will learn how to knead, and then you will not need to know how to knead. If you're good at kneading, you will want for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, here's the beautiful soaked rice. Well, I'll teach you some vegetable dishes uh, 
next time different ways of cooking Indian vegetables, which is way more than just boiled peas. How much rice? We got a question. One cup. One cup of rice. Or half a cup. Or half a cup. How depending much you have at home. Yeah, and depend, you know, if there's a rice shortage. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely do bread at some point, guys. It's definitely a little bit more of a, uh, a advanced It's all course. myself. We'll have a bread day. Jenny Craswell says she's all for kneading. It's an excellent workout. <laughs> Ooh, there's a request, uh, request for Alagobi. So we could do that oh, too. Oh, easy. Oh, I would love to teach Alagobi. Who was that? Um, that's Thomas. Ooh, Stephen Obent says, I can't stop talking about how good Nan is. I'm joining Nano and on Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might give you a healthier version, which is a whole wheat, but that's fine. If you guys are stuck on the white naan, we can do that too. Yeah, we like a giant um, tandoor pit in our backyard, so we will not be doing dishes that require that. You can use the oven. Huh? Yeah, it's the modern better. tandoor, everybody. <laughs> Anyways, what are we doing now? Now? Is, okay, is everyone soaked and washed the rice? I'm assuming, yeah, everybody ready with your rice? If not, uh, okay, well, that so sucks. Now <laughs> we have... Uh, uh, we've got the onions, tomatoes, everything chopped. All right, let's check on the dog. Oh, how's she doing? Well, oh. it is getting very soft. Well, you notice? Let's get a close-up. Oh, it's so mushy and nice. Okay, the mushier, the better. So, since I'm heat-proof, it, oh. no, it still needs yeah, a little a few more minutes. I can't believe she can do that. She can just reach into boiling food and feel nothing. That's a life skill right there, ladies and gents. Yeah, okay. So there, it is simmering happily. It needs about a good five, ten more minutes just so it can be, uh, you know, cooked thoroughly. All right, now, um, stir it one more time so it doesn't fall in love with the bottom of the pot. No romances with the bottom of the pot. Okay. Does everyone know spices? These are the cumin seeds. Ooh, cumin. Cumin seeds. Look at those, those are seeds. I have kind of made it really catered to, uh, sorry, no offense, white people. So <laughs> I have not used mustard seeds for the dal. Oh, quick question. If you didn't have time to soak your lentils, can you just boil them? Sure, just take us a little longer. That's your answer. Ooh, now what are, these are cloves. These are cloves. Look at them. Look at those clovey cloves. Okay, now. If I forgot to say for the rice, if you have any bay leaves, dried bay leaves, if you don't, not the end of the world. Get back and pray. Uh, then as oh well. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, really quick on cloves. Um, these add a great taste to your dish. Don't eat them. They taste like I mean, you know, obviously put them in the dish. They add a flavor to it. It's important. It's when medicinal you are too, so. medicinal too. These medicinal. These are bay leaves. These are dried bay leaves. When you consume the dish, do not eat the cloves at that point. They taste terrible. No, they're just very strong in flavor. That's it tastes like an, eating a bar of mint soap. I don't like it, but it's nice in the cooking of the food. And then uh, cinnamon stick. I have... Uh, we have cinnamon slivers for you yeah, today. Yeah, but anyway, big, the bigger the stick, the better. Break it in two. For the rice. This is for the rice. And put so, all right. So, moving on, let's check on the doll. And, oops. Onions walked into it. <laughs> okay, Rogue all right. Onions. It's just about boiled. Let it just simmer now. Just let it simmer. Okay, fully covered. Now, we are going to use another part for the actual seasoning for the dog. If you want to, if you're not a vegan and you want a really, really, really authentic yummy dal, I would suggest use clarified butter. Or ghee. Or ghee as it is called. If you don't have it, not the end of the world. You can use some, uh, we, I use this because of Sheila's allergies with light Olive oil, you can use canola oil, anything. Even butter's fine, not the end of the world. So for that much dal, I would think we will need at least two tablespoons of the oil. Two tablespoons. Or more, depending. 
Here's the rice soaking along. Actually, we've set it to a four. Three tablespoons of oil. Look at that technique. Okay, yeah. At least three tablespoons of the oil or the ghee. Thomas says, ghee whiz. Ha ha. You're right up my alley. You're adopted. You've been adopted. Congratulations. Which Thomas is this? You do not know this, Thomas. Hmm. Thomas is a friend from LA. Anyways, moving along. Moving along. So, we are now going to turn the heat on for the seasoning, for the doll seasoning. What heat setting so, for? Four oh. to five. So, medium, medium high. Everybody with me so far? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, well, as the oil heats up, we will add about a tablespoon of the cumin seeds. One tablespoon of the cumin seeds. Why are cumin seeds important? They are good for digestion. Very good. They have many, many, many medicinal purposes. What do they do for digestion specifically? Just make it better? Yeah, go look it up. <laughs> <laughs> all Indian cooking, every all the spice, all the herbs, everything has a medicinal purpose. So, yeah, Lara, all those spices will be added. We'll add them sequentially right for now, you. As soon as we start cooking the onions and tomatoes, we will be adding the spices. So. Fear not, dear child. Okay, so the oil is. Hot. We're waiting for the oil to heat. Yeah, we will add a tablespoon of cumin seeds. I think we could add about two tablespoons. Becky, we've not added the cinnamon yet. Do not worry. Two tablespoons of the cumin seeds. Two tablespoons. I noticed we had a lot of dough. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think it's important to say that... Um, we cook random. I cook at random. I've never measured a thing in my life, so this is very hard for me. And also a lot of Indian cookbooks will <laughs> say things, Surya can attest to this, like cook until done, add a sufficient amount of the spices, <laughs> <laughs> cook it at the right temperature. So Okay, now just give another stir to the dal while the cumin seeds are heating up. Yes, Lara, can, I would say a medium pot is good. Yeah. Stirring the dal again. See, as you keep stirring, it'll get cooked and softer, see that? Look at that nice mushy situation. Yeah. Oh, come on this way. Okay. You mean instead of balancing precariously? Exactly. See this? And the more you stir, the more, you know, it will get pureed. If you have a hand blender, you can puree it later, but otherwise it's fine like this. Just keep stirring and it will get pureed. Yeah. Keep if stirring. you want to be really fancy and use your immersion blender and be fancy, then good on you for being fancy. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Sheila, why don't you take a look at this? This was the cooked dog. Oh, yeah. Let's do a demo. We've already, um, we were trying to imitate cooking shows of yesteryear, so we already have pre-cooked stuff. This is the boiled dog. This is what it looks like when it's cooked. And look at how nice yeah, and liquidy and just, that is. Yeah, boiled, yeah. Okay. And now uh, this, yeah, I just used a whisk because I didn't know if everyone had an immersion blender, but I just used a whisk and... Started. No. That's what it will look like. And then the final part, we'll get to that later. So, okay. Ooh, they're starting if to the simmer. The cumin seeds are spluttering and, oh boy. Spluttering, you guys. When they start to splutter. They are spluttering. <laughs> add, um, uh, hmm, good point. How much onions? Bloody hell, who knew? <laughs> <laughs> add a mystery onion. Oh, we're going to measure it. We are professional. Uh... Add a cup of the, a cup, yeah, about a cup of the chopped onions. One cup of chopped onion. Woo! Did you get that sure sound? It makes the oil like that. Yes, we are aiming for a sure sound. Stir those boys. At this point, you can add about three, four cloves. Three or four cloves added now to the cumin and onion mixture. Okay. And 
stir it on medium medium high to medium okay while that's simmering you can heat the pan for the rice Ooh, this is the rice pan look at that nice pan of course, rice pan it, now if you can cleverly separate the water that the rice was soaking in Ooh, that's in very another scary. cup because then it will taste better your rice if you can't not the end of the world throw it and uh we'll use the uh, yes we'll get cleverly the separate your starchy water yeah until just rice is left yeah okay give the onions another stir keep stirring All right, heat the pan for the rice. And we will add, of course it's better with ghee, but we'll take the oil. Any cooking medium, even butter is fine. Uh, we'll add another two tablespoons of the oil for the rice. All right, now we'll keep. And what are we heating it to? Um, medium. Okay, so on ours, that's a three out of six, a nice solid medium. So one thing about rice, if you want a, uh, the rice grain to be separate, once the onions are semi-fried, I will show you, when you add the plain rice, before you add water, stir it in the hot oil for a good two or three minutes, I will show you. Then your grain will be separate at the end. Yes, Emily, I will post the entire thing after, so no worries. So these onions are cooking while the oil is heating for the rice. Okay. If you're in a hurry for the dal, you can raise the heat to medium high. From medium high to high is okay too. Not the end of the world. If you're in a hurry, <laughs> you busy, busy people. All right, now we will add a tablespoon of the cumin seeds for the rice. Again, we put cumin into hot oil, just like we did before. Add Four or five cloves. Four or five cloves for the rice. Oh, okay. that's more, but that's fine. Yeah. About four or five. <laughs> and then uh, one bay leaf. One bay leaf. If you have it, fine. If you don't, not the end of the world. Not necessary. And if you have, a uh, half a cinnamon stick. This is where the cinnamon stick goes in, Becky. Okay. Do we have, are we putting the cinnamon in? Well, because I have those tiny pieces. So that's okay. Whatever. They can do baby cinnamon. Baby cinnamon. Okay. 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 At this point by now, your kitchen should be smelling nice. Yeah, nice. Okay, the onions are getting fried while the this is getting hot. The oil for the rice. Mmm, look at that. Cloves will get nice and plump there. Nice plump cloves. Okay. And now stir this. And now we can add the onion. We're adding the rest of the onion to the rice. For the rice. For the rice. Not to the rice, for the rice. A careful distinction. Okay. And we will slowly start to fry. Okay. I had some extra onions that were just sort of sitting there. I will throw them in. Waste not, want not. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Look at all that goodness, you guys. This looks delightful. We got okay. some dough. Let's stir the dough a bit. Mm -hmm. And the heat for the rice onions now should go to about medium. Medium. All right. These onions for the dal, they are getting somewhat fried. 
Now we will add, see how they're turning translucent? That is good. This is the gin, grated ginger and garlic for the dog. Mm -hmm. All right? So I'm still frying. Let's try this. So just to clarify minutes. too, this pot is the aromatics that we're stir frying for the doll. This pot is the aromatics we're stir frying for the rice. Just in case you're wondering why there's two pots of onions. Okay, we'll lower this. We'll yes, lower Angie, it smells onions, so good. Just so. Okay, now. Now we will add the ginger and garlic for the doll onions. And give it a good stir. Lower the heat. Lower the heat. Lower the heat. What are we lowering the heat to? For the onion, ginger, and garlic for the doll. Yes, but what's the new number? Oh, about... Uh, uh, about two. Or we put it at two out of six, so like a low heat. -ish. But not really very low. Just yeah, not a simmer. Just a little. Just a little low. Just low. Yeah. Otherwise the ginger and otherwise the garlic will burn. You don't want burnt garlic. Yeah, it smells like not good. Okay. So um, now we we'll fry that a little. In Indian cooking, what's important is that when you add the spices, if the spices are stir fried. They don't hurt the stomach and they taste good. Got it? Not hurting the stomach is really important for everybody who does cayenne cleanses. Don't do that to your stomach. Yeah. Okay, now, stir the dal a little bit more. At this point, you can puree it if you like. Not, it's fine. Even if it's like this, it's good enough for government work. Yeah. Okay. Now, we will add... Uh, and Laura, since you put extra turmeric, you may omit it in this step, but even do, turmeric doesn't hurt. So, we can add a teaspoon of turmeric, actually a teaspoon and a half of turmeric, and turn the heat to really low. And also the good. rice onions turn to very low. Okay? Yep. So All right. right. Then Here's we add onions. two heaping te or, uh, teaspoons or a tablespoon of the cumin and coriander powder. That is the cumin coriander powder blend, ladies and gents. Okay. Two heaping teaspoons. Yeah. And now stir that. All right. Now, if you like it a little spicy, you can add one half teaspoon of the garam masala. This, yeah. It's like if a you spice don't blend. have it, it's not the end of the world. Can they use cayenne if they don't have it? Yes, cayenne is fine, then I would say a tiny amount, like maybe a quarter teaspoon. Unless you like it hot, it's optional. Good. Give it a good fry. And now we add the tomatoes. Or lemon juice for you who are allergic to tomatoes. Okay, keep it on low and just fry the whole darn business. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the rice. Since we forgot about the rice, onion. No, we have not forgotten them. They are merrily cooking. So you don't want to brown the onions for the rice. No, no. Okay. So we'll just wait till they just turn a slight thin color. So here we go. They keep going. See that? So okay. Just keep stirring. Since we had turned it on low, they are taking a little longer, mm -hmm. which is okay. Not the end of the world. Now, let's cover, if you have a cover, for the onion and uh, tomato spice mix, uh, thingy. Cover it. And keep stirring it so that it, um, until the oil separates. Yes, Laura, tomatoes went in the pot of aromatics for the doll. Here we go. See, this is the doll pot. That's the doll itself. This is the aromatics that we're cooking separately to add to the doll so that they're nice and cooked. The seasoning, yeah. And then this is for the rice. Am Ooh. I too fast? No, nah, you're doing great. Okay, you can now raise the heat to about medium for the onion tomato spice mix. Raise the heat to medium. Medium, medium low, yeah. And keep stirring and cover it. Keep stirring, cover it for in this nice half cover technique for a minute or two. Back to the rice. So the onions are cooking. And now, mmm, see the nice fragrance from the cloves and the bay leaf. Mmm, can't you smell it? <laughs> and 
It does smell really good, guys. I'm sorry that you can't smell it. Okay. Keep stirring till the onions are soft. You don't want to half cup onion. <laughs> no, that would be a big bummer. Oh. Okay. Yeah, keep stirring the onion tomato thing and keep Let's check on the doll. Let's show them what the doll looks like at this point. Good happy mush. Good happy mush. Good baby food. Okay. All right. Now, onions are just about done. Now we will add as much water as we can take out of the rice. Whoa. Ooh, and, exciting. Uh, add the Look at that. Rice. That is to the top. Okay. All right. Now we add the soaked rice. If there's a little water in it, not the end of the world. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> okay. We lower the heat to really low. How low is really low? Low, the lowest. Low. Like one? Yeah. Okay. Uber duber low, guys because the rice is, we don't want to burn it. Okay, I use my hands a little bit then. Okay, <laughs> now, uh, now this is where I taught, teach you to fry it like this for a good couple of minutes. When you do that, after your rice is cooked, the grain will be separate, get it? Just keep stirring it on very low. Why is it separate? When you eat rice, you know, you, do you want lumpy rice? No, that's true. Okay, sorry. Just wanted to define If it separate. is lumpy, not the end of the world. It ain't going in your tummy. It's going in your tummy anyway. But the correct way. Mm. Keep stirring it. Now let's check on this, guys. Here. See how the oil is slowly separating itself? Mm. Okay, keep trying. Okay. Hope it is smelling. Yes, I can smell it. Okay. They cannot, though. All right, yeah. <laughs> but here, take a good look. Here. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Nice mush. Nice mush. You can add some paprika if you want more color to it, if you don't want cayenne. Because, you know, otherwise your roof will be on. Your Just roof. about a teaspoon, te teaspoon and a half of pepper, sweet paprika. Those who, are, those who are Indian or who like hot, you can add a slit green chili at this point if you'd like. Ooh, slit green chili. I'm if good on that. If you want it spicy. Hot. Uh, Shwan Wei, we used basmati. Okay, keep stirring the rice for another minute. Yes, at this point, if you want to discard the bay leaf, it's okay. I will leave it in, but you can discard it if you'd like. Let's get a close up on these dishes, you guys. Here's the doll. Here's the mushed up doll. Mush is a theme here. Okay. Then, and then here is the onion tomato aromatics. seasoning with all the spices mm -hmm. in it. Keep stirring. Okay. And then here's this for the rice. Okay, I think we've fried it enough. So if you have, since it's basmati, it doesn't take a lot of water. So if you, and still keep it on low. Um, hey have, mom, there's a question. Yeah. How do people feel about, how do you feel about brown basmati rice? Uh, it might just take a little longer, but that's fine. Is Gary going to do the dishes? <laughs> no, we'll be doing them. a very large print in the marriage contract. Very large print in block and black and all capital. It was stated, signed and notarized that he does not do dishes, nor does he do cooking. And I am grateful for that. Because as, as adorable, wonderful, and perfect as he is, I really don't want him in the kitchen. <laughs> there would have been many pieces of Gary in the house or many pieces of parole in the freezer. So, yes. Yikes. Um, Lara, the paprika went into the tomato aromatic blend for the doll. Okay. All right. Now, now we add water. So, if it's one cup of rice, you add a cup and a half or two cups of water. That was the water we'd separated out earlier. Or you can just add fresh. 
it's yeah. fine too. But generally the measurement is one cup of rice, two cups of water. One cup of rice, two cups of water. Now if you've soaked it for a long time, if you've soaked the rice for a long time, you might need a little less. Okay. Depends on how you did your homework. All right. Uh, someone, uh, Shuanwei says you should do stand-up comedy. I know that. Will you come? Will you be my first audience? You are standing up and you are a regular comedian. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay, now let's, okay, have we added the water, boys and girls? I think I might yes, we have added the bit. water. Okay. And now we add salt to taste in the rice. Salt to taste. Which for me is a hell of a lot of salt, but you know. So I would say about a teaspoon and a half. Of teaspoon and a half of salt. Okay. And now you can raise the, stir it. Give it a good stir. All right. Now you can raise the heat to medium. In the meanwhile, let's check on this person here. All right. Looks like we are nice and happy mush. Now we will add it to the dog. Yay, add the mush to the other mush. Okay. Here we go. Woo, look at that. Ooh, yeah. So guys, we cooked that separately away from the lentils so that it could cook. If you had put all those ingredients in the lentils, they would not have boiled down and then you would have a very sad doll situation indeed. Yes, all the tomatoes have already been added. Now we mix it all up. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Give it a good mix. All right. Now remember what I told you guys that and gals, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and baby Murphy, my precious baby, that this these pink lentils are very rich in iron. That's why we add the tomatoes. You need vitamin C, otherwise your body cannot absorb the iron. Therefore. We added tomatoes, and then at the, we can even add, and we will add, some lemon juice. Juice of one lemon at least. Now, you might want to taste for salt. Let's see, is the rice simmering a little? Then we'll cover it. A little bit. There's some nice smoky tendrils. Well, not yet, though. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. I'll taste it and see. Again, she just has hands of steel and it never mm -hmm. ceases to okay. amaze me. It needs a little bit more salt. So you can always add salt, but you can't take it out if you make it too salty, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. So I'm always careful with salt because different people have different tastes. And... We're a pro-salt household for sure. Yeah. Okay, good. Now this is what this looks like. There's one last step, and that's a very optional step. But this is just about done. We will let it simmer on three and keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. It all has to blend well. Oh, Sylvie Nagaki is saying um, she can only find brown lentils. Does she have to Same make any thing. changes? Same thing. No um, changes in the recipe. You might just have to soak them longer. Longer soaking. This is such a nutritious meal that's gonna help boost your immune system. Yummy. Okay, the rice is not sitting yet. Okay. Anyway, the idea is as soon as it simmers, turn it on the lowest setting and cover it. Almost done. Yay! Uh, if you want the if you want the dal spicier, you can add more garam masala. You can if you like cilantro. Unfortunately, the white part of my daughter, in in her genetic makeup, she hates cilantro. I hate cilantro. I think it tastes like soap. I am one of those people that can't taste it. Um, if you it like is. cilantro, good on you. I didn't get those genes. So chop up, I would say, oh, about one third cup of cilantro and add it last for the garnish. Or don't, because cilantro is nasty. Um, there's a question. How long to soak the rice again? Uh, if it is white rice for 
half an hour, 15 minutes is plenty. For brown? For brown, at least half an hour. The, yeah. Um, Annie, we'll be posting this video to Facebook and then also to YouTube, so you can review it later. Okay, keep stirring the dal. Make sure it doesn't stick at the bottom. Let it simmer, let all the spices blend it. Okay, then I'll come back here, Sheila. The rice is now <laughs> happily boiling because I raised the heat. Happy, this is happy. when you turn it to absolute, the lowest setting possible. Lowest setting possible now that it is simmering merrily along. And cover it. Cover it. When it starts to boil over, remove the lid a little bit. But as soon as, because mine is an electric stove, it decides to take its own sweet time to lower. So we are in no it. hurry. And there we are. That don't look at the rice again. Forget about it forever. No. Okay. Now we are back to the doll, and let's see what it needs. All right. Let's get a spoon. Yummy, yummy. Look at this, you guys. Oh, it's so golden and delicious and magical. You know, why don't you taste? Because then you can tell me what's oh. missing. I know I have to put lemon oh, juice. Oh, let's see, guys. Gonna do a little taste test here. Mm. Yeah, we need the lemon. Yeah. And, and a little bit more salt. Yep. Yeah. Lemon and salt. Okay. But the spice level is fine? Hey, uh, the rice is steaming. Do we care about that? No, it's fine. Great, it's, it's fine. supposed to be that. Nobody right? cares about it. Okay. Yeah, the spice the spice level is totally fine. We just need more salt and lemon. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it will. Yeah, that's how James Watt figured out how to. You know, he, he invented the steam engine. James Watt, W A T T, is he saw his mother boiling something and the pot was covered like this and it moved. The steam moved the pot and that's when he figured out how he could have something else move and that's how the steam engine was invented. Science. Little science trivia on the side. Ooh, okay, add the juice, juice of half a lemon. Actually, I might add a whole lemon because we like it lemon. Yeah, we really like lemon in this household. If you don't, again, it's kind of like garlic. Let's talk. And also, uh, as I said, you do need lemon and tomatoes because this, so your body can absorb the iron from the top. Iron without vitamin C is silly. No, your body cannot, you'll poop it out. <laughs> And the iron in this, the, the pink lentils, or even the brown ones, as Sylvia was asking, are very high in iron. It's good iron and protein. So much nourishment. Okay, now at this point, once the dal is done, if you are so inclined, you know, when you were frying the onions and tomatoes, you could add a cup of chopped spinach. You could add one third cup of finely diced carrots. You know. And that is to, just to clarify, to the pot, oh, sorry guys, bird clock, hold on. We have a clock that makes bird sounds. We've had it for 15 years. We'll never get rid Tell of it. Tell Sylvia, Katie gave it to us. Oh yeah, yeah, Grandma Katie gave it to us. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, so what, when she's talking about spinach and carrots, she means the aromatic pot that we put the tomatoes in, just to clarify. It just raises the nutritional value. You might say, okay, the doll is kind of, you know, I want to add more nutrition and more stuff to it. It can even then become a one pot meal if you'd like and have it with crackers or... Crackers, interesting. Or rice or, you know, whatever. So, okay, let's taste the doll now. Uh, How is it? Mm, perfect. I just needed half a lemon, not the whole lemon. So I'll add some more salt and there we are. Voila, done. Are we all, is the, sh well, let's wait for the rice to finish. Yeah, now, if you were a true Indian, you would do another final seasoning for the dal. And it's optional, but since we are all trying to fight the virus and colds and whatnot, you could heat just a tablespoon of oil or butter or ghee. Have chopped garlic, wait till it's really hot, add a tiny piece of cinnamon stick and when it's hot hot when the garlic is simmering just toss it in the dal it will go shh. what we in India call it tadka it's uh, some people add a dry red chili but you guys are way too white so we will omit that back um, um Lara that was an additional doodad mm -hmm. of um no. oil garlic and cinnamon we are not doing that today but you could at the stage if you wanted to at the last 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 stage This is what the final looks like. 
That is the final doll product. Yummy, 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 yummy. How's the rice doing? Let's check on the line, shall we? Okay. Shall we? We shall. Okay, it's still cooking, so we'll give it a stir and cover it again. There. All right. So apart from the step of the rice finishing, are we otherwise done with this recipe? We are done. We are simmering the dal, and uh, that's about it. Simmer it for another 10 minutes, and you're done. Simmer the doll for another 10 minutes and you're done. Also, when the rice is done, you are done. Do you guys need us to keep the camera rolling while we are finishing the doll the rice, and rice, or rice. are you set at this point? The rice is the You want to just hang out with us for 10 minutes, I guess? While well, we just talk about the weather. I'm going to make a really grand assumption that people can know or Google what finished cooked rice looks like. Hint, you don't want water in it. Um... As we said, let the doll simmer for 10 more minutes. Um, I think include a picture. Yeah, we'll, uh, Jenny, we'll post a picture of the plated dish for you. We'll make sure to do that. You want to see us eat it? Okay, maybe that's a separate video. <laughs> that's a separate kind of comedy. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap up this session. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and learning. And I guess we'll make this a series. Goodbye, everybody.